It's Tyler here with TNT Garage and Performance. It's cold out in here, so I got myself some hot apple cider. And what a year we had in 2023. And I'm just checking in with you guys to kind of give you an update on what's coming up in 2024. We've got some big things coming to the channel. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But before we dig in too far into what's coming in 2024, let's go back to 2023 and go over a couple of the projects that we have gotten accomplished, which the fact I got anything done is amazing to me. Uh, some of you may know from my truck video is that I am a full-time over-the-road truck driver. So, you know, when I get time off, I come out here in the garage and I uh, spend all the money I make. So, I did get some things done and let's talk about my son's C10, the 86 square body that's been on this channel a lot. And it'll continue to be on this channel because a 16-year-old drives it. And there's enough said there. But anyway, uh, with that truck, what we did was I late 2022, I actually bought that truck back and gave it to my son. And we decided to build a 350 for it. So we started with an L31 roller motor 350 roller cam, threw the Vortec heads in the trash, threw some AFRs on them, put a good comp cam in it with an Edelbrock intake and a Holly carb, uh, slapped that in the truck, threw a 700R4 behind it, which technically is a 4L60 because it's a 91, quickly realized that transmission was not up to task. So I went ahead and put in a B&M, Trans go shift kit, did the stage two, locked out the accumulator, all that gobbledygook, and threw in a Corvette servo. Uh, since then, truck's been great. Uh, been tinkering, tinkering here and there. We had some uh, pulley alignment issues, but no big deal. So that was like the big project of the year. Uh, little projects, little fun stuff I did, of course, was who can forget my hot rod lawnmower that I completely fell off my rocker, decided to paint hot rod white, bend up an aluminum hood scoop, much like the two-lane blacktop car, and name it in uh, 70s style lettering and called it Lawn and Order. Uh, of course, after that, we got into a couple other things. The Camaro, I made negligible progress on. I got the wiring done, like the as far as wiring goes, this car is done. It's just everything else that I don't want to do. We'll get to it someday. It's safe in the garage. It ain't going anywhere. Uh, other than that, we brought Brute Farce back. And if some of you may remember, Brute Farce is my V10 2500 Ram that I was one of the very early projects on a video on the channel here. And, uh, well, we just did a body swap on that. You know, it had a body on it that had windows and stuff, but I liked keeping the outside outside, so I decided put another body on that thing, get it rolling, and actually use it as my regular tow rig and my back and forth to the shop truck. So, yeah, uh, other than that, we did exhaust on this car, which I'm still loving, by the way. And I did a review of this car because I was tired of not having the, you know, the want to get my car done. So I just did the, uh, did the dumb guy thing and bought a new one. So last thing for 2023, the last two things were I picked up that 73 Chucker, which if you guys haven't seen that car, go back a few videos and check it out when I picked that thing up because it is preposterous. Just a hunk of a car in 1973 that was designed in the 50s. It's great. I love it. Also got the 454 that I'm going to put in that car. Got that tore down. And uh, you guys can see all the fun I had in that and all the damage that I recently discovered. I got to put this down or I'll drink the whole thing. I have to go to the bathroom before I even get done. So anyway, what's coming for 2024. Well, uh, number one is the beginning of 2024. I haven't done a damn thing. <laughs> That's why I'm going to give you guys this update. I kind of took the holidays off. <laughs> Just needed a lot of relaxation. I've been busting my hump out here 
and it works. So just going to give you guys this update, which, like I said, big things. Number one, that checkered. We're going to tear into that. We're going to move the Camaro out of the garage. That's going to go outside for a little bit. And the checker is going to come in. We're going to pull the body off. Uh, it needs tow boards, rockers, and like a patch on a rear seat, oddly enough. The only other place it's rusty. And then we're going to custom build the front half of the frame, the front third of the frame with tubing. Uh, you know, two by four steel tubing, uh, 120 thickness wall. We're going to build the front section of the frame for that car because we're going to do a solid axle swap. And that's going to be going with the gasser nature of the car. Also, fix the body, have all that done. That 454 is going to go to the machine shop. We're going to get a punch 60 over, get it line honed, fill it with uh, Summit's catalog, big block components, get that thing ready to go for the car. And that's going to be probably the biggest build of the first half of the year is getting that checker ready to go, all gas or garb, fender well headers, side pipes, you name it, radius cut, wheel wells, everything. The other massive project that's going around here is the garage itself. And as you can see from any of my videos where I was working in here, it didn't seem bad when I was doing an engine or something. But like when I did the exhaust on this, this is all the room I've got. So we're going to punch it out 18 feet. We're going to come up with some pretty nifty organization solutions for in here to keep stuff off the floor, keep a pretty much clean work area with nothing in our way. So a lot of stuff coming up there. I'll cover what I can. Obviously, I won't be building it myself. Uh, contractors will be coming in and doing it. And I'll be on the road, but I'll definitely set stuff up so you guys can see the whole process of making this into an actual, more functional shop for me. So I'm super excited to get that, you know, underway. Coming in spring, we'll break the ground for that. Uh, we are going to bring Brute Farce back, believe it or not. I know, it's a truck that never ends. Mainly because when I towed the checker home with it, it did fine, other than it drives like hot, flaming garbage. It wanders, the front end's loosey-goosey. I just don't like that. So we're going to pull that back in. We're going to go through the whole front end, see what it means. I'll show you guys how to check if you need ball joints, stuff like that, you know, steering components, wheel bearings, U-joints, track bar, especially on a second gen, third gen, anything with a solid axle, basically, that's got a four link setup with coil springs. Track bars are usually the go-to if you're having some pretty bad wandering issues. But I'll go through the whole thing with you guys. Then I'm gonna go all the way down the truck. We're gonna replace every U-joint. We're gonna replace all the fluids. I'm gonna put new brake lines in it because when I got the truck, I needed every brake line, just every one of them, even from the master to the ABS. And all I did was, I'm in a hurry, I need to drive this thing home. So I just bent them around wherever, around a manifold, through the steering shaft, and got it done. And it's nowhere near right. The lines that I put on are already rusting because the truck sat in the back forever. So we're gonna put a stainless steel brake line kit on it, all new brakes on the back, and get that truck mechanically up to snuff because the Big project with Brute Farce, other than the previously done body swap, is to actually, we're going to do some DIY body work right here at the garage. And we're going to get the lower cab corners taken care of, which aren't real bad anyway, but we're going to fix those, the wheel arches, and then we're going to paint it. I'm not going to spend big money painting it. It'll just be a single stage, but I've got a really neat idea for a layout of some decals, the graphics on the truck, Something that I think will fit its personality pretty, pretty really good and uh, really show off the channel when I'm out doing stuff with it, towing vehicles or just, you know, being a jackass in it. So those are the major plans for 2024 as far as builds and stuff like that. Now, as far as car shows and stuff, we did get to do a couple things last year in 2023 which we went up to Iola we didn't get my son's truck done but we got to go up there you know we got to meet a lot of great people uh we met Derek of course he's and uh Dennis Anderson of Gravedigger fame which you know 
two of the biggest hot rodding idols I have. I grew up watching Grave Digger, and I'm obviously here because of Tarek. So ran into many other people, including Emily from Flying Sparks, you know, all really excellent human beings. And it, we're going to do that more this year. So in 2024, basically we're going to do a double header and that's, we're going on power tour and we're going to go to Iola and they are back to back. So I have six months to really thrash to get stuff done. However, I do have a backup plan. If for whatever reason, I don't get the checker done, which you guys have built projects, you know, stuff goes wrong. So if we don't get it done, we're going to go ahead and take the Challenger, of course, because it's here, it's ready to go. Uh, if the checker's done, I'd like to actually take both vehicles and just find someone to drive the Challenger. So we got that for Power Tour we're going to be on. And of course, we're going to be up at Iola. We're going to be in the show this year. So we'll have something, either this, my son's truck, the checker, or all of them are all going to be in the show. Now, one other thing that I'm gonna do this year, probably earlier in the year, is something I personally haven't done before. And that, and I gotta grab it, it's just out of frame, is install a self-learning throttle body EFI setup. I've never done one of these before. Uh, I've steeped in fuel injection, I was a tech for over 10 years before I started trucking. So I've dealt with a lot of, you know, manufacturer, you know, OE style fuel injections. I've never done dealt with one of these as far as a performance setup. Now this is Phytex 400 horse street unit and I'm gonna install this on something, something that already runs. <laughs> so the nice thing about this particular one, I picked it up at Summit. It was in their garage sale section. Uh, by the way, if you're going to go to Summit, just tinkering around, stuff like this, you get good deals on, like demo units, stuff on display. But anyway, this one has everything with it, all the harnesses, the O2 sensors, the controller itself, so you could set up everything. This is basically your setup wizard for what like a Holly would have. It's got all that. It's got O2 sensor bungs. It's got relay centers. You can control electric fans with this, which is a feature I'm going to use. And pretty much everything. The only thing this does include is a fuel pump and just a frame mount Holly or Phytech fuel pump will suit you just fine or even Aeromotive or something like that. So... Look forward to seeing a self-tuning EFI setup put on. And I'm if you haven't done it, I'm going to learn just the same as you. Because this is my first time. And I'm actually pretty stoked about putting one of these on. Because it will make my life easier in the long run. I think that's probably about it for right now plans. Of course... Other things are going to come along, probably going to pick other stuff up, but definitely the first half of the year, expect to see a lot of work on the checker, the fuel injection setup put on, and probably just getting started with brute farce and a garage build. So we got a lot coming up this year. Um, you know, for you guys that enjoyed the video of my semi, I actually just rolled 100,000 miles in it. So we're going to do a full update on that truck. Uh, versus the one I did when I went to the Chrome shop, but do a full update, you know, what happened in 100,000 miles, what is it like, you know, what's changed, what's gotten better, what's gotten worse, just a little update for my trucker friends that enjoy some of this stuff, and I'll probably put that out next week, just because this is a short video, so I'll put an extra one out on that, kind of keep everything rolling around here, but in two weeks from now, we're going to get right on that checker. I've got a welder coming tomorrow so we could start cutting, welding, and getting it ready to go. And of course, uh, been pretty consistent last half of last year. We're going to do videos every two weeks on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. So we're going to keep that still going the way it is. And of course, if you want to see any of the projects on a channel, anything that I've mentioned, uh, even my old 70 pop-up, which I'll probably do some work on late in the year, but... Uh, 
If you want to see any of those, go back through the whole catalog of videos. There's over 80, including shorts, that uh, kind of document all my projects between my son's truck, this car, brute farce, the Camaro, the checker, law and order, my camper, all that stuff. Even a tra utility trailer build. Got all that on the channel. You know, go ahead and find me at TNT Garage and Performance on Facebook. Find me at TNT Garage and Performance on Instagram. And remember, like, share, and subscribe to the videos. It helps me a ton. Really gets me pushing up in the algorithm. We're gaining ground now, and I'd love to gain some more so I can keep this stuff coming to you guys. I appreciate every time you comment. I like getting into any kind of discussion, even if I'm wrong. So there's that. But, you know, just... Comment down below, share, whatever you got to do. And remember, until next time, if it ain't broke, fix it till it is. We'll see you soon.